Good morning. It's looking a mess like always. So I just wanted to talk to you guys for a little bit. Um, my dog is drinking water right now. <laughs> you can hear him. So I was just thinking about something yesterday. I was watching um, the 1870s channel, which is very nice. Rachel cracks me up. Um, there are four channels that I really enjoy watching. That's 1870s Homestead, um, Bobblehead Homestead, Doug and Stacy, and Out in the Country. I do like watching Justin Rhodes as well. Um, but Bobblehead Homestead I watch every single day. There is something about Jeff that just just makes you happy because he never he never gives up at least he doesn't you know I don't know I'm sure everybody this is the whole point of me doing this video this morning I know there are some times when people feel like they just can't do it they're just not getting it done that's what I feel like a lot of times and you'll see it the video that I made um what was I cooking? The cabbage soup. I was so exhausted mentally and physically that when I went back and watched that video, you couldn't even understand what I was saying. And I almost took it down. But then I thought, no, I'm going to leave it up so that people can see the difference. You know, dealing with life stress is a real thing. And I'm not going to post every video is going to be happy-go-lucky Amy. But you know what? Even when I'm down, I still have things to do. I still have four children to take care of. No, I do not have Kane all the time. But when he's here, I still take care. You know, he's, I still consider him my child. Like even when he's not here, he's on my mind just as much as my other three. And then I have the two dogs, which I have to watch constantly because as you guys know, Dixie, like see things and I just had to pay over $600 for her to have surgery and I've had to watch her like a hawk. Speaking of her, she's being very quiet right now. She's just watching the birds. Um, she spends a lot of time on a leash right next to me if I'm really busy and I cannot I know like if I'm having a very bad chemo brain day and I can't keep focused on what I'm everything that I'm supposed to be doing, um, I will keep her on a leash right next to me so that I can keep my eye on her. But my point is, you know, we bought this house. It was not the house that I wanted. I actually waited to show my family this house last because I knew that I was going to get outvoted. There was a house that is literally a mile, not even a mile away from us. You could probably see the property from our house. And it was a lot bigger than the house that we got now, but it was a quarter of the price because it needed a lot of work, but it had three acres and the kitchen in there, holy crap. It had like a, it had a stove that was like, four feet wide like it was huge the kitchen was enormous and all I could think about was I'm going to clear out an acre of this wooded area and I'm going to have this gigantic uh garden and the pantry in this house was is almost as big as my kitchen and dining room area is in this house and I wanted it so bad but I had to take in you know what my family wanted as well. They didn't, they don't share the ideas that I have, you know, they could care less if we had a garden or, you know, lived off grid or was prepared for anything. Um, but that those are my interests. So I compromised, you know, we bought the house that was supposedly turnkey ready. We've run into a few issues, but not many. Um, and I do love this house. I do love this house. This house is bright and warm, sunny. Um, 
it has so many windows and I do I love it a lot I do love my house and I started a garden last year um, when well right after we moved in and I started too late and things just didn't take off and I kind of got discouraged then life got really busy and not living you know as close to the kids school as I wanted to and the older they get the more things they get into I kind of just let myself get into this rut where I wasn't taking care of myself I wasn't doing the things that I enjoy anymore I was putting everyone and everything before myself and I know it sounds selfish but when you're a mom you really need to focus on putting yourself first because if you're not taken care of you can't take care of your children you can't take care of your husband and you're just honoring you're not very fun to be around when, when you're constantly doing for everybody else except for yourself it you just at least me in my experience I just get withdrawn and all this all the things that I have been through in the past four years I'm still not ready to sit down and do a video about that um because like just right now I can feel the tears coming up I've been through a lot you know when you have four children and you meet the man that you wish you would have met you know when you were younger and you want to spend the rest of your life with him and then you have this evil thing come in and take take that opportunity away it upsets you and it's still something that's very very right here um so i'm just not ready i'm not ready to talk about that yet um but this video i just you know when i moved in here I'm, i do get all over the place you know chemo brain i can't think straight <laughs> I forget where I started the sentence and so please forgive that but I do a lot of cooking videos because I cook every day I, I you know I don't like buying out getting fast food we do that does not mean that we don't eat out because we do you know I have chill I have children that are in a bunch of different things and sometimes it's just unavoidable and you, you, you know, we ha I try to make, try to get the best takeout, but you know, it's still takeout, but I still cook a lot. Um, but with this property, what I wanted to get done, I did not get done. I didn't get to harvest anything, <laughs> but two tomatoes and Let's see, two tomatoes, a pumpkin, cilantro, some dill, and flowers from my garden. Out of all the things I planted, I planted, I planted like a hundred different things, like all over, everywhere. Oh, and the sunflowers. Out of the seven I planted, and I kind of was just doing the testing. You know, I wanted to see what was going to grow here in the soil what kind of animals I'm dealing with. Um, it's a new area. So right now, so far, it's been skunk, squirrel, um, and deer. <laughs> That's the only thing that I've been saying. Oh, chipmunks. Chipmunks are really bad over here. Um, but we do have a few outdoor cats that I've seen around here. I don't know who they belong to, but I think that they're doing a pretty good job keeping that kind of stuff under control. But I did, I only saved, I only got to save one sunflower. But I think it's enough, definitely enough seeds for next year. Um, I do have, I have lots and lots of plans and dreams to do with this property. Is it all going to get done in, in a year? Probably not, but that's okay. And, you know, that's what people need to understand. You can set as many dreams and goals as you want. Don't get discouraged because they don't get they don't get finished right now. Nothing has to be done right now. Just because you have a plan and you don't get it done in the time that you think it should be done doesn't mean you're a failure. 
doesn't mean like, you know, those plants are bad plans or they're bad dreams. It just means that, you know, life happens and you can't just sit down and write a plan and expect for that plan to just follow through perfectly and nothing interrupted. That's, that, that's a dream. That, that really is a dream because <laughs> I've never heard of anybody living like that. But, um, excuse me. So I just wanted to share with you guys, I'm about to start preparations for dinner tonight. Um, I make a salsa that's been passed down through the family that I probably will not, uh, do a video on it because, like I said, it's been passed down through the family and I'm just not going to share it. Um, but I have dance tonight with my youngest daughter and then my oldest daughter is going to Europe um next year and uh we have a meeting for that tonight um so that we could oh, um we can get more information on that I've already got her passport first payment is about to be made on November 2nd um anybody wants to help with that uh, you can send any kind of anything to, um, let's see, P.O. Box 142, Marshall, Michigan, 49068 is my P.O. Box. Um, you know, and, and I welcome all things. If you want to send a letter, I love reading letters. Nobody handwrites anything anymore. Um, my daughter and I do, my youngest daughter, we love to, we love sending things to people, um, and we love getting stuff. Like I love getting letters in the mail. I hate getting bills and junk mail. Um, <laughs> but I love going to the mailbox or to the post office and getting a letter from somebody, you know, just somebody who took the time to sit down and actually write something out and put a stamp on it, fill out an envelope that means something to me. That really does mean something to me. So when I say in my descriptions, if you feel like writing, that is really what I mean. Like I, I am a literal person and I say exactly what I mean. Um, so that is what I mean. If you have time to write a letter, I would love it. It would be amazing. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know where you're from, what kind of land you have, what your dreams and, and, uh, ideas are of, you know, anything and also in the description below if you leave any comments of hey you know you see a piece of my property and you have a really cool idea about it let me know because i'll try it i'll try it um i'm open for that so i'm gonna wrap this up because it's going on 13 minutes i'm trying to keep these low i'm really sorry for the last uh last video it was very boring and you probably couldn't understand much of what I was saying because I couldn't even after I watched it. I was just like, it was a very mental stressful day for me. And, um, I had just, I had been going through a lot, no sleep with the dog, uh, surgery and stuff like that. Um, I was just extremely stressed out, but I just wanted to share that. And then I have another cooking video from last night. It's going to be a very short video. Um, because I was not into making a video at all, but I just wanted to get something out there because I cook a lot by taste and smell. And I like to record that for my kids. You know, like I said, when I first started this, I just wanted to do it for my kids. So my kids can go back and say, you know, they can actually see me walking them through things that I've done. Um, but now it's kind of, um, I don't know. I, I like getting feedback from people and, you know, meeting new people on these channels and getting great ideas. Okay. So this is almost 15 minutes long. So I'm going to go now. Um, you guys have a great day. Uh, please like and subscribe. I'm not sure if I'm pointing to the right direction since the camera is backwards. Um, have a great day. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. Bye.